Good morning, and guess what? I'm kind of getting back to my $7 a day routine. Not, not really, but uh, this morning I ate an orange, and I'm also eating uh, oats with a little bit of rice mixed in with peanut butter and jelly, the leftovers. Yeah, just having a little breakfast, and then I'm gonna go hit a bike ride in the mountains. Today's gonna be a really full day, guys. We got a protest, we got a Chinese New Year vegan potluck event. It's gonna be a lot of travel. Who's that? Who is that? Good morning, Tuesday. You're the cutest. You're the cutest. All right, let's do this thing, baby. All right, so that was just a little 20 mile bike ride and now I'm running in the hills. It's beautiful. And you know when you hit that moment when you realize that every single person in your life that has influenced you from your teachers to your parents to your pets and all of those beautiful beings have made you the love machine you are today. And all you can do is lay down in the middle of the ground and say, thank you, God, I love you. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Okay, I gotta go finish this run because then I'm doing a protest later today and I'm getting jacked up for it. Holy be Jesus, that was glorious. I've been going hard though. That's two brick runs in a span of three days. Definitely taking a full rest day tomorrow. Yes, I think my schedule, workout schedule, is gonna be like three days on, one day off. Three days on, one day off. I think that's good for me right now. Okay, now we go home and I got banana and ice cream waiting for me. Hashtag pro tip, hashtag high carb vegan, hashtag banana and ice cream, hashtag carob powder in your banana and ice cream, yes. All right, made it to San Francisco. We are doing protests first in Whole Foods against the egg industry, and then we are doing a march. Oh my God, we are over a hundred strong easy today. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Yo, this is one of the best turnouts I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we got a lot of people. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah. to disrupt Whole Foods and talk about the violence of the egg industry. So we're all going to be walking in and there's going to be activists in a crate and they're going to represent um, hens in a cage facility and activists in a pen. And they're going to be wow. hens in a cage-free facility. So we're, we're, we're putting the pen in, in a Whole Foods? Inside of Whole Foods. Okay. We have activists in these pens and then a hundred of us are walking in and we're picking up eggs, uh, fake eggs that have blood on them. Like am I picking up an egg? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're walking in a single file line okay. and we're each picking up an egg and standing behind the pen and the crate holding the bloodied egg and then we have speakers doing speak outs about how there's violence in the egg industry and whether Beautiful. they're caged or caged free 
There's no humane way to exploit someone. And is this because DXC had a open rescue or an investigation mm -hmm. recently? DXC recently went into a Whole Foods egg farm and rescued Ava, who was a hen in a cage-free facility. Um, so but good. Hello, <laughs> ladies, back. How's it going? Give me good. a hug. Good to see you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Wayne's one of our investigators. They know Wayne, they know Wayne. Oh, they know Wayne, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so we're going to tell Ava's story awesome. and the story of millions and then, of bridges. And then we're gonna march in the streets. And then we're gonna march in the streets. And I'm filming in the march in the streets, but I can participate in this event. Exactly. Okay, you you just filled you just filled me in so much. You are the best. Love you, Naomi. I got you. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I am not gonna film during this Whole Foods protest because I'm actually a part of the protest, and it's not really good when you know you're trying to be heartfelt and really you know show the emotion of what's going going on to pull out a camera. We have designated people that film certain events. So I'm gonna put my camera away for this thing, but then I'll bring it out during the march. Protest almond butter jelly and date sandwich watching the sun in San Francisco and filming a time lapse. My life is complete! Great day, great moment. Okay, back to Berkeley now. Ah, oh, these are so nice. My roommate got them for my other roommate, who's his fiance. Okay, today is one of those insanely fast-paced days. I just got off the BART after that protest. I'm back here now making a kind of pad thai, very simple throwing together a pad thai dish because I'm going to a uh, vegan Chinese New Year. I know like pad thai, it, it's not about the food. I know that's Thai food. Uh, it's just bring a dish and that's gonna be really quick because I have rice noodles. But yeah, so a vegan Chinese New Year potluck. I am meeting one of you guys, a viewer, who let me know that they want me to bring some pots for them to buy, so that'll be fine, and just eating a bunch of good potluck food. Um, and I wanna talk about the protest. I know I've talked about protesting in many other videos and I have other uh, protest videos on my channel, but I just wanna be clear again because we did do a protest. Uh, I believe in the power of nonviolent civil disobedience and protesting. Hopefully right now in our culture we are hip with that, considering the women's march just happened. Essentially what we did is the exact same thing. It's getting into the streets, nonviolent civil disobedience, um, and talking about an injustice that we feel needs to be changed. In this case, it is that animals are being abused, confined, tortured, eaten. It's ruining our planet, it's ruining our health, and it's killing 
and torturing the lives of innocent beings, which is wrong, which is so wrong. So we as citizens are gonna fight in the street in order to raise awareness for companies and people to stop letting this happen. So all the protests that we do, you know, direct action everywhere gets a bad rap uh, from some vegans and that's okay. It's what makes the world go round. But we are a group that is not violent at all, but we say, we, we talk how it is. We talk about, animal torture and suffering and we expose people to things that the mainstream media and these companies just don't tell the public. We think that's wrong, so we're out there doing it and then giving a solution. Hey, here's how we live this awesome lifestyle. Come to the Berkeley Animal Rights Center, come to our potlucks, check out the website um, so that you can so that they can learn information. So the protest went great. I really it's almost like I forgot when I was traveling in Hawaii and LA how much I love this activism community. Like I forgot about it, but seeing all these people, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I love you. Uh, so that was really fun. Just gonna drink a kombucha pregame before the potluck and then go to this potluck. Oh my God, it's been a crazy day. All right, I put that together real quick. We got a little peanut butter barbecue and lime sauce with rice noodles, steamed veggies, and some garbanzo beans. That's how we do it, simple vegan. That took me two seconds. All right, I got my pottery for me to eat out of at the potluck. I've got this pottery for my friend that I will meet who's buying it, and I have my dish, I'm ready to go. Did you All right, oh, oh, like, yeah. All right here's what we're going with. Yeah. What are those? Yeah, these are like this is from Leona. Yeah, drumsticks. It's uh, your chicken drumsticks. Okay. It's from a Chinese Buddhist store down in Oakland. Probably soy chicken or something. Yeah, soy chicken. Nice. It's great. Uh, yeah. And I can't wait to try these weird gelatinous <laughs> rice things that Wilson uh, brought. Awesome. Probably you go first. I'm not going to I'll go first. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Maybe heading up the, helping to head up the Boya stuff. Wayne is crazy busy. Somebody should, so they need somebody. I bet you have been in a video at like a protest or something. And now you're in it. Oh, is it recording? Wonder how much food Lisa is gonna steal tonight off people's plates. Probably a good amount. Wow, that was so good. Definitely going round two. Let's go. Party's gotten a lot bigger. What's up, man? Hey, Hi, right, Lisa. Woohoo! A lot bigger than the last time I was in here. They ate my dish. Oh yeah. Just handmade, homemade sushi. That's insane. This party was off the chain. It feels good to get out and be social. It's 10 o'clock at night, and it is awesome to just to just hang out with friends. I feel like I don't do it enough, so it's good to see beautiful faces like Sammers. Uh, so that's it for the day. It was really exciting, right? Great no, day. like I don't get to hang out with my best friend Jackson, so yeah. ever. Yeah. Except when we go to protests together yeah. like today. Yeah. So yeah, it was an awesome day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Much love. Dream Extreme.